Venus is in the news again. The recently revealed images of Earth's twin sister by NASA have revealed a colossal structure that has never been seen before. This discovery is a significant advancement that offers insightful information on the planet's geology and atmosphere and shed much needed light on the mysteries of our universe. Watch the video till the end as we tell you all there is to know about the NASA's discovery in images from Venus. Last month, researchers claimed to have found evidence of volcanic activity on Venus after looking at the data from NASA's Magellan spacecraft. The discovery, which was reported in a document released on March 15, 2023, is based on modifications to a vent close to Mat Mons, one of the planet's greatest volcanoes. This is an unprecedented discovery since it is the first time that direct geological evidence of volcanic activity has been found on Venus's surface. Scientists made this discovery after carefully studying old radar photographs of Venus collected by NASA's Magellan mission more than 30 years ago. These images show a volcanic vent that had grown greatly in size and changed shape. This is a particularly important information as the study of active volcanoes by scientists help in understanding how a planet's innards can influence its crust, drive its evolution, and affect its habitability. The Magellan spacecraft reached Venus in 1990 and spent two years taking pictures from orbit. Moreover, the spacecraft made eight monthly returns to the same location during this time. During the course of those eight months, the scientists observed that a volcanic vent that had been two square kilometers in size had increased to roughly four square kilometers. The photographs were taken at various angles and heights because back then the goal of each mission was not to check for changes on the surface like scientists are doing now, but rather to complete any other jobs. One could imagine that the two photographs related to the discovery were taken from windows on different sides of a plane. In the first image, scientists noticed that the vent's shape had changed as it was circular but the second image revealed that it was kidney-shaped with a dark interior, which is proof that a volcano had erupted on the surface of Venus. Most likely, the dark area in the image is a lava lake that has filled the vent to the rim. Based on the few evidence available, the NASA team hypothesizes that Venus's intense heat and high pressure caused the lava to become runnier and flow for longer than it does on Earth. If the estimates are true, Venus is filled with about a million minor volcanoes and 1,600 major ones make up the majority of the planet's surface. However, it is debatable if any of them still erupt. There are possibly many more active volcanoes yet to be discovered. This most recent discovery is the first time that researchers have discovered concrete proof of recent volcanic activity on Venus. Scientists believe that such eruptions which are less violent than those on Earth, take place at least a few times in a year, adding to the mounting evidence that volcanoes are a significant factor in the formation in the planet's young surface. According to NASA, a lot of Magellan data is still to be studied. This recent research covers only 1.5% of the planet, but 40% has been scanned twice by the Magellan spacecraft, providing scientists with a wealth of radar data to sort through. Despite the fact that the Magellan photographs are 30 years old, NASA ascribed the timeliness of this discovery to recent advancements in planetary scientist software and technology. Much like Google Earth, scientists are now able to quickly download massive data sets and zoom in and out of radar images, which they were unable to accomplish 30 years ago. Since the images were taken from opposite angles, the NASA team selected locations on Venus's surface that remained constant in both the Magellan's views. They then manipulated the images to make them appear as though they were taken from above. Scientists also use a technique known as orthorectification to transform unprocessed photos into a modeling-friendly format. Venus usually resembles a pearl in visible light, curiously featureless and completely transparent. The lack of any revealing information about what lurks on its surface is the result of the dense sulfuric acid clouds and carbon dioxide rich atmosphere that cover the planet in a deadly haze. The sun's light bounces off the dense Venetian clouds, drowning the red light in noise. However, a small red light does manage to escape these clouds, but it is usually lost. As there is no sun to compete with this red light at night, 
a faint glow does emanate from it. The latest Parker Solar Probe mission was able to take images of the planet during its night, which allowed it to view more detail of Venus's surface in the visible spectrum than any other mission had been able to. All of these recent discoveries by Venus has prepared NASA well for its Veritas mission. Veritas, also known as Venus Emissivity, Radio Science, INSAR Topography and Spectroscopy mission is a project run by the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. The Planet Orbiter will explore Venus from surface to core to comprehend how a rocky planet roughly the size of Earth took a radically different course, turning into a world covered in volcanic plains and deformed terrain concealed beneath a thick, hot, toxic atmosphere. Veritas will use modern synthetic aperture radar and a near-infrared spectrometer to build 3D global maps and determine the composition of the surface. The mission will also measure the planet's gravitational field to ascertain Venus's internal structure. The device's combined findings will provide information on the planet's recent and historical geologic processes. Furthermore, Veritas data will be made available online to the scientific community, unlike Magellan's data, which was first difficult to examine because NASA had to rely solely on boxes of disks containing Venus compiled data. Making it available online will make it possible for researchers to evaluate the planet and assist in revealing its deepest secrets using cutting-edge techniques like machine learning. Apart from Veritas, Envision, a European Space Agency mission to Venus, has also planned for a launch in the early 2030s to research the planet. Envision will be carrying a JPL-developed Vensar synthetic aperture radar as well as a spectrometer akin to that carried by Veritas. In 2021, as part of the discovery program, Veritas and NASA's Da Vinci, also known as Deep Atmosphere Venus Investigation of Noble Gases, Chemistry and Imaging, were chosen to lead the upcoming missions to Venus. This discovery program for Venus is headed by the Planetary Science Division of NASA's Science Mission Directorate in Washington, the Planetary Missions Program Office at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. It is worth mentioning that the Veritas program is supported by some of the biggest names on planet Earth, such as Lockheed Martin Space, the Italian Space Agency, the German Aerospace Center, and the French Centre National d'Etudes Specialis. Veritas and Envision will look through Venus's thick atmosphere from orbit, seeking for minute centimetre-sized changes on the planet's surface, which is much more than what scientists can do with Magellan's data. On the other hand, Da Vinci will send an atmospheric probe into Venus's clouds. If we look at the estimated dates, Da Vinci is projected to be launched in 2029, while Veritas is expected to launch between 2032 and 2034, after a three-year delay, closely followed by Envision, which will fly between 2035 and 2039. Scientists and space enthusiasts around the globe are particularly excited because of the fact that these new missions won't have the same one-sided viewing issue as Magellan did, making future data much easier to deal with. These upcoming missions can prove to be a milestone in human history as studying about Venus, which is similar to Earth in terms of size and makeup, can increase our knowledge of planetary formation and evolution, and it may also shed light on the possibility of extraterrestrial life. That is it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, show some love and hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.